really has given me back life that I would otherwise be missing out on. I have three boys. I've always been fit my entire life. I danced growing up, um, always exercised, and I carried my baby straight out of my body. So when I went for my postpartum checkup, looking at my abdomen, how things were going, and she said, well, you might have a lot of work to do here. My abdominal muscles had separated to accommodate space for the baby, which is called diastasis recti, which is very normal in pregnancy. It's not always normal that it continues after pregnancy. You have to be able to have a little bit of separation to accommodate for the baby, but mine separated significantly. Often during pregnancy, as your abdomen expands, those muscles stretch and they don't always come right back together postpartum. Um, so sometimes that can lead to things like back pain or abdominal pain or potentially even urinary incontinence. Stephanie came in with some back pain and some belly pain and then just wasn't comfortable with the look of her abdomen after her kiddos. So we often worked a lot on how to find your belly muscles correctly and then how to strengthen them appropriately postpartum. I'm a nurse. I worked in surgery for a number of years and I saw a lot of instances where women were having to have repairs from their bladder prolapse, any sort of uterine prolapse. And I knew that it was something that I needed to take care of now so that didn't end up being the case. Um, one of the big things with the separation in my abdominal muscles is then it doesn't support my pelvic floor as well as um, most people's abdominal muscles are supposed to. And then as time goes on, it just would become more and more of a problem. I think our pelvic therapy program here is quite comprehensive. So not only is it educating about your body and how to find your muscles in your body, but different behavioral strategies to help you with your bladder or with your bowels, potentially. We focus not just on one muscle group, we look at your abdomen, your pelvis, your posture, and how those things might influence your symptoms and make sure you really have a comprehensive program to address all of your deficits. We came in and we worked from the very basic up to being able to be on the Pilates reformer. I can remember the first time that we even tried to do some small arm exercises. It was really hard for me to keep both of my feet up while I was doing it. So it was really, really incredible. By the time that I was finished with my first um, time through with her, I said, really what I want most is to be able to move around. It's not truly a disability, but there's a lot of things that I felt like all of a sudden I couldn't do. I think that a lot of people just think this is the way that it's going to be now. Um, it can be very, very hard on you physically, on you mentally. So I was glad to kind of reclaim that narrative where I'm healing and I'm going to be able to do these things. It might take some time, but it's not this feeling of I'll never get it back or I'll never be able to do that again. Um, it gives you that hope that eventually with putting in the work and having that one-on-one -on -one coaching um, from your physical therapist that you really can get back to a level of um, more normalcy. Thank you.